Hello and welcome to another very quick Plan Mecha Tech Tips video. My name is Cody Ray and today I will be walking you through the components breakdown of Romexis. Yes, there are a lot of different components that you can install or not install when it comes to installing Romexis on a computer. So I'm going to be breaking that down uh, by functionality so that you can better understand this process. Let's get to it. So let's go ahead and open this package up now. I'm just going to double click on it there. And I'm going to get this install Plan Mecca Romexis window. I'm going to go ahead and hit continue and continue. I'm going to agree to the license. And here we go. I am now in the window where we can select the different components that we want to install when doing a Romexis installation. So um, first off, we have to break it down. What functionalities do each of these components bring to the table? So any of these components, if I highlight them, right down here there's going to be a uh, description of what that component does. So right now we have highlighted Romexis server, and I can see that this installs the Romexis server, server components, which are required at the server end. Okay, so I know that if I was installing Romexis and I wanted this computer to be the server, I would need to have this checked. Um, so let's go to the next one, Romexis database. This installs and updates Romexis database for Firebird 252. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you that anytime you're installing for a server, you're going to need that Romexis database box checked. Now, if we were doing a server installation, would we need the Romexis client box checked? Well, the answer is no, but it doesn't hurt it to have the Romexis client installed on the server. In fact, it actually helps because it gives us another option um, for troubleshooting to be able to actually open up the Romexis client window on the server. Now, the Romexis client, when we talk about that, we're literally talking about the window that will pull open when you click on the Romexis icon right here. Um, so having that client on the server is, uh, is good for troubleshooting purposes. So let's go down to device tool. Now device tool is used for 2D and 3D calibrations. We can see that in the description box there. Uh, would we ever use our server computer to calibrate a Plan Mecha X-ray? And the answer is no. So if we were installing Romexis for a server computer, we could go ahead and uncheck this. We don't need calibration functionality on our server computer. So next one is Didapi Kit. Now Didapi, uh, although this could be an entire uh, new video uh, describing what Didapi does and how it works, uh, short answer is Didapi Kit is the Plan Mecha driver that just needs to be installed anytime we have a Plan Mecha X-ray uh, connected to this particular computer that we're installing on. So this is a server computer. It's probably going to be shoved back in a closet someplace. Um, do we need Didapi Kit? Well, is there an X-ray plugged into the computer we're installing on? Well, just for all intents and purposes, I'm just going to say no, there's not. This is a server. It's tucked back in a closet somewhere. So we do not need the driver in order to communicate with an X-ray device on this particular computer. So I'm going to uncheck that. Right under here, we have Java 3D. Um, this just is going to install the Java 3D and Java OpenGL libraries. In other words, this is going to install the necessary Java components that we need when we actually go to open a 3D image. So since we have the Romexis client on the server, we might as well leave this one checked so that if we do ever open up the client on the server to do some testing, we have the ability to open a 3D image. So right now, if you want to take a mental snapshot, these are the components that you would want to have checked if we were installing Romexis on a Macintosh server. Okay, um, So we have the Romexis server box checked. Um, that's actually going to be the services and things that need to be installed for this computer to act as a server. The database, obviously, we're going to be storing images here. Uh, the Romexis client, again, that's for troubleshooting purposes so that we can actually open Romexis on this computer. And then the Java 3D which gives us that 3D functionality. So um, let's talk about installing for a client. So let's just go ahead and put everything back where we found it. So let's say that this computer, we just wanted it to be a Romexis client. And we already have our server installed. We don't need that. Let's just say that a doctor bought a new Mac and he's adding it to his office and he says, hey, 
I just want to have Romexis on this computer so I can open it up and view images. Um, and the computer, let's just say it is not connected to an x-ray. Well, we know it's not a server, so we can uncheck that. That database is going to uncheck automatically because it's useless without the server tools. Romexis client, that is the actual window that opens up when we have this Romexis open. We know we're going to need that. Device tool, that's used for calibration. There's no x-ray attached to this computer. It's just a client, so we're going to uncheck that. Again, no x-ray attached. We don't need the driver that we use to talk to x-rays or Didapi kit. Um, Java 3D, yeah, sure. Uh, we might want to open some 3D images on this client computer, so we're going to leave that checked. So if you want another mental snapshot here, these are the components we would want to have checked or the functionalities that we would want if we were installing Romexis as a client computer only. Okay, so let's talk about one more scenario that is pretty popular, and this is going to be in pretty much any office that you're going to have uh, where there is a Plan Mecca x ray on site, and that is a capture computer. So let's put all these back the way they were before, and let's talk about what components we would need with a capture computer. So, Romex's server, and we're going to go through this a little bit quicker. We've already broken these down. Romex's server, do we need those components? to capture an image to a computer. No, we don't. That's just for servers, right? Database unchecks. Romexis client. Yes, we do want that. We do need to have that Romexis client window open in order to capture an image. Now, device tool. Do we want to be able to calibrate the uh, x-ray device? Well, yes, uh, we do want to be able to calibrate this periodically. Uh, so we're going to leave that check. That's going to give us that device tool. Didapi Kit. This is the driver that lets us talk to an x-ray machine. So yes, we would want Didapi Kit installed on this capture computer because that's the point. We want to use this computer to capture images. And then Java 3D. Sure, we, would, we might want to open an image after it's been captured. So we're definitely going to want that Java 3D installed. So again, mental snapshot. These are the components that you would want checked if we were installing Romexis on a capture computer that is going to be used to actually capture images from a Plan Mecca device. So at this point, uh, if we had left these checked in any of these configurations, we could go ahead and click continue and move on with the installation. But uh, this was a breakdown for uh, what components or what functionalities you might need uh, to have checked or included on Romexis installations uh, for different types of computers that you could find in a dental office. So uh, I hope this makes sense. And eventually what I really want us to do is instead of a memorization tool, uh, I'd really like you to understand what each component and functionality does so that that way it's less of a uh, reference that you would have to look up at all the time and something that you might just know from common sense and a uh, basic understanding of we, what each of these do so i hope this video helped and if you have any questions uh, feel free to comment under the video and i'll do my best to answer them so have a great day